what's happening. Uh, kind of want to talk about this concept of the corporate psychopath. Basically, these are these people who, prof- they're like professional yes men. It's kind of like whatever the orders are, I say yes, sir. And no matter who I got to say it to and what it is, no matter how horrible it is, it is it's like I got to give the bad news that 10,000 uh, people are uh, getting laid off this year. And I also get to present that good news to this guy over here who gets kickbacks. Uh, hey, man, your promotion came in, man, and that uh, that uh, that cake's in the mail, if you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's kind of what it is. It's kind of like this mercenary mindset where it, it's all business, nothing personal. And I mean, I know that kind of to an extent, that's not a, a, a totally of a horrible policy, but, and in some ways business is almost cold and mechanical like that. You know, it's, uh, it, it's still, it's gotta be, uh, there used to be like quality of service, right? Which means the long term, which means I'm care, I'm worried about more about, uh, accomplishing my word and, and uh, then, uh, profit and benefit in other words if it's not beneficial for everybody it's really not beneficial it's kind of a, a con or a rip off or a exploitation or a usury uh some kind of a bad practice where uh you know it's uh selfishness narcissism uh, and it's funny man it's because the corporate psychopath is someone who uses and abuses others in other words it's like they exploit their position and they uh um they benefit and profit from other people's kind of like uh it's kind of like forcing people into doing stuff that that's not necessarily their job description but it's like uh you can make them uh, uh stay after work while you go and catch a board meeting or something like that to that extent but you know uh it's it's the same thing as just as a narcissist and a yes man it's just the person who will look at you straight faced and tell you what they think that you want to hear you know what i'm saying and it's like and a lot of times these things are kind of more just this it's like they say something and it's like, it's never, it's, it's always like word magic. And it's like, that's a, it's kind of like a person, like, it's like, all right, you do something for a living, but it's so ingrained in you that you do it when you're not at work. You know, you can't just get out of character. And it's like, and it was, it was always from the beginning. It's been like a character. It's just a, a, a suit, a disguise, a mask that they use to influence other people and kind of mind control them uh and it's like appearing like uh when when we used to uh work down in florida one time we it's like i i was mimicking the boss which was this puerto rican guy and he wore this cowboy hat and uh so i went and bought this straw hat and i'm wearing the straw hat because it was actually it's like in the sun in florida uh it was actually quite beneficial. It's like portable shade. And, and then also the uh, the sweat that gets around uh, the brow. When the wind flies through the straw hat, it hits it and it cools you down. So it's kind of like a little air conditioner. But anyway, so, but uh, me and my other buddy started wearing the hat. And since the boss wore the hat, we started looking like we was part of the inner circle at this place. But in all actuality, we only was working there for a week and a half. But we would just, we would kind of take on this character of uh, this corporate psychopath where we uh, kind of manipulated people into doing work and look, and giving them orders when we had no, I mean, you're always supposed to help out new guys, right? And tell them like, like show them the ropes, but look, you don't have no right to, uh, look, to go and order them around or anything. And I'm, I'm just saying just kind of like, look, it wasn't. I personally didn't do nothing bad to nobody, but I, I, I used to play games like that because it made the, you know, it's so horrible. Work is, especially in Florida in the sun and there's labor. It, it's like you got to do what you do to cope 
to get through the day. So when you do these little games to get a rise, you know, to feed the ego, you know, when my ego was out of control and it was like, and I was around other people, the environment, it influenced me to practice such things to try to look dabbling, being a sleazy, uh, confidence man, con man, uh, con artist. Uh, that's basically a con artist is a person who can gain your trust and they can tell you they can play the role, but they are professional traders though. Like basically, uh, that's the only thing it, it, so that's what makes the the confidence and confidence man is to gain your confidence and not be sincere and it's a whole hey, look this is a whole branch of everything this this con man aspect of life that a lot of things are just that it's like corporate psychopaths and narciss, narcissists narcopaths it's like in a relationship uh abuse you know you it's like you tell a person one thing and then you do another and then you it's you know there's a reason why uh one of the ten commandments is thou shall not lie because it, it's it's just a messed up thing and it's like it shouldn't have to be like that I, I mean uh and then you know consider myself being real all the time I'm real right but not always man there was times man where under peer pressure or, you know, like, uh, uh, not thinking clearly. I, I, uh, did, uh, cheap things, you know what I mean? And, uh, dodged, uh, accountability and stuff like that. And like blame shifted and like, look, was very avoidant, uh, in certain, <laughs> certain things, uh, because that's kind of what you do until you, you see like, it's like the air in your own ways. Right. And sometimes it's got to, get out of control and that's the thing when you start to play around it's kind of like that old the white lie turns into the black lie and before you know it man yeah everything's just a freaking con and, and the, the saddest thing is is when you believe that your own act and you forget kind of like in those movies where the cop man is he's working with the mob and uh at some point he actually forgets that he's the police and then he's like starts to kind of like the character, the undercover role more than, uh, his real life, uh, you know, and, uh, that's the same thing with this corporate psychopath, and it's like, sometimes that's a singular power, but it also could be like, you know, this, this, this shop right here is primarily Republican vote, so, uh, since, you know, we, we see you don't come to the meetings, so, like, look, you don't get offered no overtime at this place because the management also attends the meetings. And that's kind of a form of uh, corporate psychopathy, uh, you know. Uh, and corporate psychopathy is this, is like uh, you get every time, even though it seems like, yeah, the greater good of this group, the Republican, uh, the Republican voting meeting after work, it's narcissistic in the sense that you f look people's egos get stroked and feeling that they belong to the cool club into this into the winners we're the winners you know what i'm saying we're the we're them good old fellers man and uh you better get down with us or else you better get on board with us buddy or uh you're gonna uh you ain't gonna get much overtime uh you know and then this is all kind of like you know uh that's not a covert message about me. It's just the stuff that I've heard other people talking about uh, having to go through, especially when you work in corporate settings, man. It's like me personally, I, I like that uh, that home, that homegrown kind of uh, atmosphere as opposed to a kind of a mechanical corporatism kind of uh, lifestyle where like everything's all about uh, this, these phony labels, uh, you know, uh, and they're like tricks. Uh, to get you to buy stuff, man, and this stuff is all, the whole advertisement and, 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 uh, advertisement and propaganda are, are, like, co-linked, like, they're just different branches of the same, it's compartmental sections of the same thingamajig, kind of like you could say the defense department also is probably the biological uh, uh, technologies department, but they're just 
uh, de- or they're compartmentalized to where these people over here don't necessarily see higher up that they're like the stuff they both do down the road. They're, they're taking this batch from over here and this batch from over there. And then some guys mixing it up over there. And then it turns into uh, uh, hornet, hornet spray meth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and uh, a lot of people OD'd this week uh, on the news. Uh, and, and that's, you know, that's kind of, it's all abuse though anyway. And it's coercion. It's basically slavery, and it's also kind of a form of engineering and mental, mental conditioning, and, and this war of attrition to like Willie Lynch us. Uh, and, yeah, so we kind of are already self-conquered. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, it doesn't matter that it's so vague these these uh, unwritten rules that. It's so easy to fall into the, uh, you know, into this bias group where it's, uh, where, uh, you're disenfranchised, man, by society covertly. Cause I mean, it's like, they don't come straight out and admit they're doing this, but they do. But then again, they don't. It's like their PR campaign. It, yeah, that's basically what public relations. I mean, public relations is just professional yes men, which means like uh, whatever you say, boss, uh, or I agree. Yes, this is they'll just say this is true, even though, but it's not. They don't know. You don't really. You just are taking your name, your good reputation of getting like, like of helping these con men out, and you're putting your reputation on the line with this con man. I approve this con man. Uh, and, uh, it, because this guy's got a suit and he looks like the part and he says he agrees and they show that to people it like, it like short circuits their mind and they, they, now they, they feel they'll, they'll get out of the, the, um, they'll be rejected and outcasted by society unless they do the same thing. And I mean, people just have a tendency to do that. And this is what the corporate psychopaths capitalize on is like they they look for, you know, like, like the rejected types. And then, you know, they pretend to pretend to accept them. And then also they'd be like, all right, this person is just mad at the world here. Let's give them a little power. And and then this guy subcon subcontracts out the job to this other guy and this is all nonverbal contract and this none of this shit is even look no one's getting paid for any of this stuff it's just going on for people to get a rise out of themselves and feed their ego and uh because it's kind of like look they're real saddest it's like look dude i freaking hate my life and this job and this these people and i have to be here so since i'm here i'm gonna put a smile on my face and i'm gonna fucking pretend like i'm all right, but I'm not, and I'm just fucking in the background, just conniving and just Machiavelli and just setting up traps for people covertly and then sitting back on the sidelines like, <laughs> and then freaking look, I watched two other people fight, uh, in a way, it's kind of like, it's not getting an F about nobody, but you in the kind of a mindset and it's kind of, it's, you know, it's not, it's not worth the price, you know what I'm saying, which is people, uh, that when you play, you're gambling with people, with like literally you're trafficking in men's souls, because it's like time, a lot of time and energy and effort is put into uh, a job, so if a person's out there, like abusing that and exploiting that and doing it for a long period of time, you might, dude might get ran over, backed up by a semi-truck, right, and now they see the ghost at 12.30, man, creep through the, uh, you know, the the parking lot back there uh, because that guy was, like, basically lived there, uh, you know, because uh, he worked so much. And, and more, you know, kind of these, these kind of, it's kind of like these initiations and these, these little, like, uh, doo-doo tests that you can be put through and, and all this uh, extra shizzle that, and, and it's like, but if it, it would all be denied. It's hard to prove, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then even if you did prove it, no one would enforce it because it's normally endorsed 
from the top down. You dig?